Um, but, you know, it just, it's frustrating that I have no friends that will, you know, I have two friends that will talk to me outside of after I left Facebook. So here after a while, and I said, okay, I'm going to leave Facebook. And because I was really, really depressed. I was thinking about suicide every day. I mean, literally, I, I prayed every night that I would, uh, please don't wake, don't wake up in the morning, you know, or, you know, I just, please let me get hit by a car today, you know, just something to end my life, you know, and that's what I was, you know, I, I was at that point, nobody would text me and ask me how I was doing, you know, um, it's like, what happened, you know, am I that bad of a person where nobody gives a shit if I'm around or not? And it's like, yeah, obviously, because like I said, I have, a, I still have my Facebook account and I still have 110 friends on there and not a, only two out of those 110 talk to me. And it's like, am I that shitty of a person that nobody can fucking talk to me and ask me, where have you been? Hey, I haven't seen you post in a while. How are things going? Or, you know, just something like that. I'm not, I'm not, nobody does that. And it's like, I must not really, they must not really be my friends if they don't really give a shit about me personally. And it's annoying because it's like, is that where our society's going social wise? I mean, I don't know. I would like to think that we would be old school. I mean, how do you not know your friends' phone num cell phone numbers if you ha don't have your cell phone on hand? You don't have them written down in a, I mean, does nobody have a phone or a, a um, a, a number book, what, what, what do you, why am I being blank and not remembering what the hell they're called, you know, where you, you have a little, little tablet about nay by nay piece of paper, and it's got A through Z, and you write all your friends A's, you know, friends address, and an address book, does nobody have an address book anymore, I mean, shit, I, I got one still, I mean, granted, it's friggin' old, and, not really a book, it's more of a, you know, piece of paper, but am I like the only one that uses one of those anymore? Uh, just, you know, if you don't, you don't have a cell phone and, you know, you want to call people, it's like, well, then you can just pull out your, you know, the old analog way to do stuff. Nobody does that shit anymore. It's annoying. It It's like, so, in, so anyway, after I, um, stopped using Facebook, I realized who my real friends are. And the, the big reason why I left Facebook was this friend, you know, I've known her since second grade. And she does things to me where I just kind of shrug it off and, you know, whatever. And then we just talk after, you know, a while, and, you know, after a while, I was like, I don't want to do that anymore, you know, if you're not going to address, you know, the issues of why you're making me feel like crap, then I don't, you know, I didn't, I was like, I was done, and my husband's like, you're the bad one, and I'm like, oh, yes, that's right, I'm the one that told, I'm the one that yelled at her to tell her to go away because she's mean, and yeah, I'm the, I'm the one that, uh, rifled through my own swim bag w without permission, and, you know, none of this shit, you know, and she complains about how crappy her sister's kids are. Fuck, she needs to look in the fucking mirror and look at how shitty her kids are. And, uh, ugh. But anyway, we're not really friends anymore, but the big thing that made us not friends was she made a post, and this is why I'm not on Facebook anymore, is she made a post one day because we had this mutual friend who had died a couple of years ago and she's like missing my closest and oldest friend up in heaven and I fucking flipped my shit because she didn't meet this kid until middle school or junior high and I was like are you fucking kidding me that's her oldest and closest friend I'm like, I thought that was my role, you know, and I said, fuck it, I'm done, I just, 
yeah, she fucking made me get off Facebook. I just, I couldn't, couldn't deal with that. And my husband's like, oh, you're just being too sensitive. And I'm like, whatever. My husband has his own social fucking issues. He'll, he'll, he'll hang out with people even if they don't want him to hang out with them just so, because he, you know, feels included or feels important, even if he's the one that they're sponging off of, you know, like he had these friends that used to hang out with him just so he could spend his money so they can go out to eat or, you know, go to the bar and he'd buy their beers. And it's like, he he's perfectly okay with letting people do that to him. And I'm like, I am absolutely not okay with people doing that to him. You know, it took me a long time to get him to, you know, get away from those people that are like that. But, you know, so I don't take you know, into consideration too much of what he says when it comes to me and how I deal with friends, because he has no friends. He, he, he complains about how I need to hang out with more friends. I'm like, yeah, but you don't hang out with anybody. And he doesn't have any reply to that. And it's like, well, duh. So stop fucking telling me to hang out with more people when I know I need to, when none of them can or want to. And it's like, ugh. um, although I did hang out with one of my friends, we went to Costco. It was kind of nice. That was cool, actually. It was nice to actually just get out and talk and, you know, just be people. It was kind of a, a uh, the only thing that sucked was she smokes and I got kind of sick because I don't smoke anymore. I've, I quit smoking five years ago and I kind of got sick because she'd smoke in her car. I never was one for smoking in my car. I guess I did when I was uh, 19, 18, you know, but when I smoked, I always used to have kids, so, and they'd be in my car with me, so I, you know, I don't smoke in the car, you know, even if the windows are down, I know, I know some people are like, oh yeah, if the windows are down, it's fine, it's like, no, it's not, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, besides the smoking and the car thing, you know, I, I really got a headache and I just, I felt sick. Like I wanted to throw up even. And it's like, ugh, I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, we hung out together and we went to Costco, went shopping. Um, I went grocery shopping with her, even though I didn't need any groceries. Otherwise, I'd have bought some groceries too. Uh, but you know, it was, it was a fun time, even if it was just something mundane that we needed to do anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean that I hang out with my friends and she's just, she's one of the two people that still talks to me after, you know, I quit using Facebook.